Hello, I'm Tony DiMario, the editor of Jack, here with a highlight from the April 30th issue. And this highlight deals with the pre prevalence of peripheral vascular disease uh, in elderly Americans, or let's say American adults. And interestingly, it comes from Lifeline Screening, uh, uh, a service that advertises in over 20,000 sites in the United States and provides uh, ultrasound screening for carotid disease, for abdominal aortic aneurysms, and ankle brachial index for uh, a, a modest price to individuals who volunteer for this service. The Society of Vascular Surgeons was able to acquire this database and used it to analyze for the prevalence of, of uh, vascular disease. And it was particularly valuable because of the enormous size. They managed to get over 200,000 individuals over the age of 80 and over 10,000 individuals over the age of 90. So some very unique data. And what they found uh, for the population overall from age 40 on, that, that the average incidence of peripheral vascular disease was about 7.5%, but importantly, it increased dramatically with age. So that in individuals over the age of 80, uh, there was about a 20% prevalence. And in those over the age of 90, there was a 30% prevalence, almost one in three individuals having some evidence of peripheral vascular disease. Now, they used uh, for their definition uh, a carotid stenosis of greater than 50%. Uh, an ankle brachial index of, of less than 0.9, or the prevalence of aortic uh, dilation diameter of greater than, than three centimeters. And in using these criteria, they found that overall in the group that the incidence of, of uh, carotid and peripheral vascular disease, PAD, was about the same. Uh, the incidence of aortic aneurysms was less than 1%. Um, as people aged, there was, interestingly, uh, some, some differentiation. There was a somewhat greater increase in the incidence of peripheral artery disease with age than there was of, of carotid stenosis. Now, whether this represents a difference in pathophysiology or, or uh, a, a survival selection, whereas those people who might have had carotid stenosis might have died earlier. Uh, this, of course, uh, remains uncertain. Nevertheless, this is a, a fascinating study of, of people who volunteer for examination uh, on, on the pre prevalence of, of peripheral vascular disease and does, uh, again, uh, point out what we've known for many years, that there's a dramatic increase in evidence of peripheral vascular disease, even in asymptomatic individuals uh, as they age. Uh, I, I, I certainly hope you'll enjoy reading this article.